I was at a stage in my life when I wanted to badly go to jail. I really wanted to go inside that like prison. That was my calling. I was desperate to go to prison. You must be thinking, this guy is mad. But before I explain why I wanted to go to prison, I have to tell you about why I wanted to be the hardest out. Then it will make sense why I wanted to go to prison. So when I was in school, from year 7 to year 10, not year 11, no. From year 7 to year 10, I was known as a good youth. I didn't want no trouble, really. I never minded play fighting and, you know, having little years, wars, like fighting with the older years, although they used to just batter us. But I was a good youth. I was no, I wasn't any trouble. I just cared about my money and, you know, I had popularity. I used to get girls and stuff and I was a charismatic, popular person, but I weren't bad. I knew how to fight and that, but I weren't bad. I didn't want trouble. I wasn't on beef. But there came a stage when I was at school, one guy wanted to stab me, call a couple guys down from his area. Even back then, you know, year 10, I weren't on this thing or nothing like that. Year 11, I started hanging around with some of the guys from my school who were also involved in, they were like affiliated with the gangs in my area. So at that stage, that's when I kind of started getting involved in gangs. But at the same time, just because I was involved with the gangs, I weren't bad. There came a time, where even when I was involved with the gangs and stuff, I got rushed. Some boys from the other side came down and they beat me up. There was like 20 of them. You know, obviously man got up, man went back. But at that stage, I still weren't bad. I still weren't tough. Yeah, although, because there's certain man, they're in gangs. And, you know, they ride with gang members and stuff like that. But them themselves, they're not hard. They're not tough. They're just with them, man. So they're tough when they're with them, man. So, you know, I got rushed. I got beaten up and stuff like that. I was rolling with the gangs. I'll go to that area, go to this area, whatever. But I still weren't tough like that myself but one time it all changed i was on the bus and on the outskirts of my borough we have areas that we class them as like no man's land yeah they don't have no gangs there it's just mutual turf everyone and anyone can go there so that's where you might see some enemies because they're not fearful of being in the next man's area. They're in no one's area, so they just feel like they can go where they want. So I'm on the bus, I'm on them little hail and ride hop on buses. I'm with my cousin. My cousin's from a different area to me, but our two areas, our two gangs, they're linked up. I'm on the bus now, I'm at the back of the bus. I see two guys jump on the bus with red bandanas. Now, back then, man used to flag green. So, when I see man with red bandanas, I'm thinking that, yeah, them man there are the ops from over there. So, one of them approaches me to try and, because obviously, you know, back in the day, man used to sit right at the back of the bus. He's trying to slide past me. So, he's like, move over. So, I've jumped up, like, what are you talking to about move over? And he's like, what? Where are you from? And I told him where I was from. And he's like, what? Are you one of them, man? I'm like, yeah. And then he's grabbed me and threw me into the corner of the bus. Like, he's on top of me. So anyway, I managed to get up and wriggle out of it. And I'm holding him. But I ain't fighting back. Remember, these times, man's not tough. I'm just involved in the gangs. But I ain't tough. I ain't really on this thing. So he's grabbed me up now. I've grabbed him back in defence. But I ain't doing much than just grabbing him. My cousin and, he, and his guys getting into a little ruckus, whatever, in it. And my cousin is more of just a shouting match. My cousin threw one punch at his friend and then my cousin just left me. He's bust the back door on the bus, jumped out of the window. Like it's like a kind of like a, it's an emergency door at the side of the bus, but it looks like a window. He's bust the emergency door, he jumped out of the bus and he's ran off and left me. They could have stabbed me, whatever, in it. Anyway, I got out of that situation, like, you know, unscathed. They didn't get stabbed or nothing like that. But my ego, my ego, I got pricked. And when I found out who the boy was, ah, oh man, that fucking killed me. Basically, the boy is from, my area is a big area. Yeah, there's two postcodes. I'm from the lower side and he's from the upper side. 
not the other side. Uh, he's from the upper side of my area. And they made a video about him getting slapped and stuff like that. So he got pricked, he was a chief. But what happened was he went down to Brixton and started rolling around with some Brixton boys and wearing red bandanas. So that turned him gassed. Like he was quote unquote on this thing now. So when I've seen him jump on the bus with his red bandana, I'm thinking he's from the other side, thinking that he's one of them, man. No, he wasn't one of them, man. He was, you know, flagging red bandanas, bloods from Brixton. So when I found out that it was him, like, that you, and he was younger than me as well, which, fuck it, that cut me deep. That you that got pricked on that video cheated me up. When I heard that, I was like, nah. I couldn't sleep. Literally, I couldn't sleep, like, my ego was so, boy, my ego, man, like, trust me, man, I was thinking to myself, like, I was thinking about every day, I need to catch this guy, I need to catch this guy, I need to redeem myself, I need to redeem myself, and I think that's pretty much what turned me into a madman, you know, like, I actually kind of lost the plot after that. I think when I first started losing my temper and I started to get really aggressive because of that situation, because trust me, it was eating me up, it was eating me up. I was at college once and in college, my college was in no man's land as well. So everyone there used to think that they was gangsters because certain men are from the hood. They know man, but they're not really about that life. They don't ride out. They're not in a gang, but they're from the hood. So when they go to an area which is no man's land, nobody really knows them. So they think that they can act bad. But I see through all that bullshit. So one guy, he must have thought he was tough or whatever, like trying to screw me. So I said, like, you know, we like, what are you saying, innit? Yeah, he must have tried to answer back now. And I was like, come outside. We've gone outside. He's pretty much got the better of me physically. But when we was rolling around, I managed to swing him into a fence and it cut his forehead open and he was bleeding. Like, he pinned me down, but he was bleeding on top of me and that. Yeah. So, obviously, the next day, he didn't come back to college because, obviously, his head was all gashed and bleeding and stuff like that. And so it's pretty much like I won the fight, whatever, innit? And I don't think I ever even saw him. Um, back at college after that so yeah because of that situation with that boy on the bus that turned me mad that turned me re really like aggressive and volatile and stuff like that yeah so anyone who had a problem with after that bro, I just turned mad and I just wanted to fight everyone so from that time when I was in college I used to just put it on mad all the time anyone trying to even look at me for too long or they think that they could try to test me but I'd be straight on I stuck it on after that I turned mad, I started sticking it on man in the college and stuff like that, like, they say when you, when people get bullied or whatever, or they get tested too much, they turn mad, and that's what happened to me, so that boy on the bus, eventually I caught up with him, so he lives on the upper side of my area, but he flexes with some Brixton youths, but he lives in the upper side of my area, so I was in his area one time, and I caught him there, you yeah. know, so he's seen man now, and he, and he had some, it's not like a kosh, but it's some, some metal thing and it's got some, anyway, it's got some ratchet thing on it. Anyway, he's pulled that out now. I didn't have no weapon or nothing like that. But obviously man no taekwondo in it. So I was able to disarm him and take this metal thing off of him. He's gone off about his business now and he's pulled out a knife on me now, isn't it? Yeah, but it's a little small thing. So anyway, I was able to still defend myself or everything. I didn't get stabbed. And I just had to show him. I didn't beat him up or nothing like that. It was a pretty much an even fight. But this was with him having two weapons. Yeah. But I had to show him that, bro, man, not no prick no more. Yeah. So man, you know, even at the playing field. From that, bro, that's when like man got super confident. Like, yeah, someone who pricked me in the past, whether they're older or younger, it don't matter, innit? Yeah. Like I was able to, you know, fight them again. Because some people, if you some people they get chiefed up by people, they might be scared to fight them back. No, I never liked that. So from then, I got like super confident. And this is where the confidence, yeah, because I started to get aggressive as well. Yeah, like proper aggressive. I turned mad. I said, man, turned mad. I got proper aggressive. This is where the confidence worked in my favour. These times when all of that's happening at college and getting chiefed up on the bus and stuff, I was 17. But when I was 15, Man was getting involved in some dodgy dealings, which I shouldn't have got involved in. So there was one older guy from the ends. He's a rapper. He's four years older than me. When I was 15, he was 19. One of my friends kind of knew him or whatever. So 
obviously he was into certain things, whatever, innit? Yeah. And obviously man needed to re up. So I said to him, like, yeah, can you hook me up with my man? I need to, yeah, I wanna buy a big piece, yeah. So man's giving him like like two hundred pounds or something. And you know, he's turned up in a cab and give me this bag, yeah, with the things he's wrapped up in. Obviously, he tried to do it on a sly thing, like, yeah, you know, when he called me, he said, I'm going to pull up in the cab, just quickly give him the money, and then boom, 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 cool. So anyway, I got the thing off of him, give him the money, and he drove off in the cab now. So I felt the weight of it, like, I'm like, why is this thing, why is it so heavy? Anyway, gone around the corner into the blocks, nearby where I met him, opened up this bag, it's full of grass, right? But back then when I was 15, I went on crud. He's an older guy. I ain't about that life. Yeah, I'm getting up to foolishness, but I wasn't tough. Yeah, I was more of a money man rather. I wasn't like, you know, I wasn't tough. I wouldn't ride out on no one. But fast forward, two years later, when I got the confidence, when I got the aggression behind me, like, man's a weapon now, yeah? Can't fuck with me. I came back from court and I'm walking through my local shopping centre. And... Prior to that, I did see him once or twice, like once before. But again, I went on this thing. But that day, he must have just caught me on the wrong day. I see him. And I thought, ah, oh, fucking man, two years ago. Whatever, it? Then I went home and I thought, now, if I don't go back after him, I ain't able to sleep at night. So I went home, which was right, right, right near my house, right near the shopping centre. I got my bike. And I rode my bike to somewhere where I seen him hang outside before. Lo and behold, he was there. But these times he's with someone. So I couldn't run over there and start a fight. Because these men, the guy that I was going to go move to, he's four years older than me. More than likely, he might be stronger than me. I don't know. And he was with a big guy as well. So more than likely, I'm going to go over there and just lose a fight. I'm going to win this thing, innit? Yeah, so I thought, let me leave it for a bit, innit? So I stood across the road for 10 minutes just watching this guy. And I said to myself, all right, I'm going to give you a couple more minutes. If he does not move, I'm going to run over there. I'm going to swing the first punch. If I lose, I lose. If I don't, I don't, whatever. I don't care. Any. Yeah, I have to go there and just show, man. You can't prick me and get away with it. Two years or not, it don't matter. Luckily, luckily, the rapper, he parted from his brethren. Yeah. And he's walked down the road. He's bus a right and gone down one alleyway. Man, it's got on that pedal bike, yeah. Gone after him now. I've come up behind him, you know, pretty much ambushed him. I've slammed my bike on the floor. He's turned around. I've ran up to him, but this guy's sharp, you know. As I'm running up to him, he's kicked me in my leg. I've slipped forward, like slipped forward, but I managed to punch him in his face, grab him, throw him to the ground and stamp him out on the floor. He's rolling, rolling, rolling whilst I'm kicking it on the floor. And he's ran up the road. I've ran after him, but he was just too quick for me. So apparently he's ran back into the shop that he hangs outside or whatever. And he kicked the door saying, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I just got rushed. I just got rushed or whatever. Isn't it? Yeah. So boom. When that story went around the ends, because this guy was big in the ends. Like people know him. Trust me. Not just in my area. Isn't it? He's a rapper or whatever. Isn't it? Yeah. And like apparently he's some gunman or whatever. Isn't it? But I don't business. Unless you back out a thing on me. <laughs> Fam, you're not no threat to me or nothing like that, yeah. So he's big in the end. So when this story went around, like Jay smacked up my man. That's when I was getting ratings. Again, that's when the confidence, man, was getting that mad confidence boost. I was getting the ratings now, innit? Yeah, people was like, rah, like Jay is really about this, innit? Like he's that, you know, he rides out with us, but even on his own, he does his thing. From then, I just turned more into a madman, like the aggression. Man, I was just fight. Listen, there was one time I was inside the police station. Some guy was looking at me the wrong way. He's like, "What? We saying?" And I was like, "Let's go outside." And, yeah. Fighting outside, I lost that fight, but I didn't care. This guy was like six foot four. My little measly five foot nine, skinny so did a business in it. Man, fight, man. In it, I don't care if I win, lose, or draw, bro. We're, we're having this thing in it. Yeah, we ain't turning into no bitch. No one's sticking at us. Yeah, I don't care how big you are. No matter for a minute, yeah. Especially if it's a one on one fight as well. We ain't backing down out of shit. Man lost that fight, innit? Yeah. But even when I saw like the afters, like, yeah, I could tell like he had a bit of respect for man in it, although I lost that fight, innit? Yeah. 
From then, I just turned into a madman, literally. Like, I was just so aggressive. It was just zero to 100. I never had arguments with guys on the road or nothing like that. I wouldn't have no aggressive shouting match with someone. I would just be so calm and I will just start throwing punches. Like, I would not be... Sometimes, no, sometimes I will lose my temper, but more time, like, I'll lose my temper and within a couple of seconds I'm throwing punches. But even that, like, there's no kind of progression. Like, oh, he's getting a bit more angry, whatever, innit? He's like, what, are you mad? And then I'll just box man in their face and stuff when it start fighting we lose your joy it didn't matter yeah do you know how many times when i used to have fights on the road yeah there was a, so many times i've had fights on the road i've thrown one punch and won the fight not because i've knocked anyone out not because i've knocked them down and then you know because i've reacted in a way which was not human yeah, I reacted in a way that was like a psycho and I thrown a punch at someone with such ferocity. Man, I'm like, nah, they're not even on it. I won plenty of fights just throwing one punch. You never know. If that person was willing to fight and go the distance, they might have beat me. But when you when you're on this when you're on the road thing and listen, being on this thing and being strong is two different things. There's bare man around, yeah, they're strong, six foot and all this and they're henching that bro. We don't care about them niggas there because bro. At the end of the day, but being on this thing has got nothing to do with how strong you are, and it's all about what's up in here and what's in here, isn't it? Yeah, it's bare man who are big and tough and they got tattoos and yeah. We don't we're not scared of them man there or they walk with tough. It's me, it's scared of them man there, isn't it? Yeah, because we know when it comes down to it, we'll find out who's the real G's, isn't it? So there's plenty of times where I'll punch man in the face and then that was it, fight's done. Like them man they just tap out. That man, they just tap out in it because they just see the aggression in it. They see that look in my eye, like, yeah, this guy's not right. And the thing is, when I was on the road, I wasn't even so much as being bad. I was mad. I was mad. I was a madman on the road. I was known for being a madman. I was a nutcase on the road. I was so mad, I was getting into fights with even my friends. There, yeah? I was getting into fights with my friends. But I had one friend, we was going back and forth, having fights all the time, fighting over foolishness, fighting over bicycles, yeah, going back and forth, having fights with my friend, remember one time I met one of my friends, one time I was going to one of my brethren's yards, and this friend that I was going back and forth with having fights, we bucked each other, we're on, the, we're on the way to go to the same person's house, we had a fight, and then someone broke it up, and then we've gone to our friend's house, and yeah, we, I used to actively beef my friends. One of my other friends, we got into a little dispute at the bus garage. I punched him in his face and obviously someone's held me back now, innit? Because I was just trying to get at him some more, innit? Yeah, like he's tall and that, but he ain't as honest thing as me. So he thought to himself, right, boom, I need to show Jay, innit? That I ain't no prick, but I probably will lose this fight. So he took out a knife and tried to stab me. Now he didn't stab me. It was a half-hearted attempt, but I know why he was trying to stab me. He was trying to stab me to show me, like, yeah, you can't prick me or whatever, innit? Yeah. Obviously, we're still cool now, and if I see him, we're still cool, it? Yeah, but that just shows you, like, but um, I was just, that's how, yeah, man, I was just on roll like that, and it, all I cared about was just getting my reputation up, in it. yeah, I would fight anyone, like, I would never back down from a fight, never, never back down from a fight, other people, that same rapper as well, was going back and forth with him, back and forth, back and forth, I had, like, three fights with him, the last fight I had, I was at the train station. I was with one of my friends. We're at the train station now, on the platform. We see the train pull up, going the other way. I see my man on the train. At these times, we thought he was on his own. So my brethren was like, hey, call him off, call him off. So we're like, hey, come, come, come. Whatever, brilliant, yeah. Now, my friend and I, like, although like, I'm a madman, I fight fit. I one-on-one fight anyone. I'm not into rushing man or jumping man. So... He might have seen the two of us, and like, I don't know, maybe I thought that he thought, oh, let me just try and stunt on these lot, like, to show that, look, I'm on this thing, but I ain't really going to jump off. So, we're on the other side of the platform, and we see the guy on the train, my friend's like, call him off. So, I was like, hey, 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 come. So, he jumped up, like, what, what? So, I was like, this guy's a dickhead, pretending like he wants to get off the train, but he, he, he doesn't really. Little did we know his older brother was there. Now, this guy... He's four years older than us. So these times we're 18. This guy's 22. And back then, age does make a, a bit of a difference, you know. Although, man, still smack up man older than me, yeah. But it still makes a bit of a difference when you're older, isn't it? Right. So he's four years older than us. And his older brother, that's two years older than him, was there. 
His older brother has jumped up at the last second and he's gone to the train doors that are closing and he's held the doors and he's forced the doors open and I think he even broke the train doors or something like that. We was like, shit. Because we didn't expect it. This guy looks like he, he goes to the gym. So when he's held the doors and forced the doors open and he looked like he broke the train doors, we was like, shit. What have we got ourselves into now? So we've gone downstairs now and we've met them halfway. Yeah. Now his brother, he was the aggressor. Yeah. I'm still aggressive, but he was a bit of an aggressor in it. Yeah. Boom. Them man there have started now. And it, yeah. One of them's grabbed me. Yeah. And I quickly punched him in his face. That was all I got out of that fight. Next thing I know, them man are on top of me, stamping me out. The, my brother now is with, he was kind of half hired or whatever. You weren't really on this thing like that, innit? You're like, I, I remember there was one point where I was pinned down on the floor, holding one. I was holding the rapper that I was in beef with all the time. I was holding him on the floor, like he was on top of me, but I was just holding him. I like, had him in the lock. His older brother has picked up my friend, who's the biggest out of all of us, and slammed him to the floor like he was a, a feather. They yeah, picked him up. When I saw that, I thought were doomed and then yeah they were just rushing me on the floor where really yeah. now i got up out of that fight and i was laughing i thought it was a joke because win lose or draw as long as i give it my best shot i didn't really give a fuck whether i win or lose it's not about winning or losing it's about you know giving it your best shot you can't win every single fight there's always going to be someone out there who's tougher than you but that's where the heart came at. that's where the heart came yeah like I was known in my area for having, I wasn't known for stabbing no one or shooting no one, nothing like that. I was just known. Jay's got heart in it, yeah, like, trust me, see my brethren, yeah? Them man, they're all African, them man, they're all over six foot one and stuff. They're the big, they're bigger than me, I'm the smallest. But I guarantee you, out of all of them lot, if you ask any of them, if you have to go to one area with one of your friends, yeah, and you might get into a situation, who you gonna pick? They'll pick me because they'll know. Jay is not backing down. Yeah, I'm staying there till the end. Yeah, and that's what I'm talking about. Like all that being six foot three and hench and you screw face and that, but that don't mean nothing. Yeah, I was the smallest, the skinniest out of all of my friends. Yeah, but they would pick me. In. Out of all of us, I was the most honest thing. I was madman out of all of them, wasn't it? Yeah, so. Them man there, if they're watching this, like, them man will be nodding their head to say, like, yeah, Jay was really about this thing, man. So once, you know, I was proper into the beef thing now, like, I've had <sighs> countless fights at this time, got bare enemies. Had so many enemies, if all of those enemies individually, if they linked up, they could form a gang. I had so many enemies, yeah. All these little passa passa and all this little beef here and there, just got so many enemies, innit, yeah. And I was just winning most of the fights and stuff like that. And even if I weren't winning the fight and I lost, I was still coming out on top, like, in terms of, man, putting the heart. Like, the man them that, even if they beat me or whatever, and they know, <laughs> we don't want to deal with this guy again. Yeah? They'll go back to their ends and report and say, right, there's his brother from this ends over here. He's about this, yeah. So, boom. Obviously, at this time, like, man wanted to go to jail now, and I'm thinking, like, yeah, man's, man's tougher than the roads now, ain't it? And tougher than the man them on the roads now, ain't it? Yeah, like, I want to go to jail, and I want to see what it's like. I want to see if I'm tough enough to handle jail. Yeah. But when I was on jail, trust me, I never, when I was on road, I never used to carry a knife or nothing like that. I didn't need to. I was the weapon. Yeah, this level of aggression, bro, just boom, zero to 100, bro, get get cracking yeah so i wanted to go to jail i wanted to test out myself and obviously i only went to jail for eight weeks yeah good thing i didn't go for a year or two but i only went to jail for eight weeks but that eight week period was long enough for me to know whether i could like if i was tough enough to handle that situation in it yeah? and i came out all right obviously man had a little situation there but even then i started the beef you know i started the beef in there and yeah well i came out of jail and stuff and yeah when i came out of jail oh my god i was even more gassed I thought I was even harder when I came out of jail than when I went in. Because now that I came out of jail, because first of all, I thought I was tougher than the roads. I went to jail, I survived that. Yeah, I came out unscathed, scot free, yeah. Then when I came out, I was like, fucking hell, bro. If I can handle jail and not get touched or nothing like that, <laughs> the roads is nothing. The roads is nothing. Yeah. Then I got stabbed. To be continued. <laughs> 